Well, back now to one of our top stories today. The president's national security advisor is today in Tel Aviv. He is meeting with the Israelis in the middle of reports that the likelihood of an Israeli attack on Iran has moved from, quote, a possibility to a probability if Israel decides to launch a strike on Iran. Israeli pilots would have to fly more than 1,000 miles across unfriendly airspace, refuel midair, and then fight off Iran's air defenses before reaching any targeted nuclear plants. But one of my next guests says, so what? If Israel plans to attack Iran, the time is now. Joining me now, two Fox News military analysts. First, Air Force Lieutenant General Tom McInerney. For 35 years, he served as a pilot, commander, and strategic planner in the U.S. Air Force. And we also have Marine Lieutenant Colonel Bill Cowan. He served as one of the first members and as the only Marine in the Pentagon's most classified counterterrorist unit. Gentlemen, thank you both so much for being here. Uh, General McInerney, I want to talk with you, with you first. You say right now the political situation in the Middle East is at its best for an Israeli attack. Explain that. Well, Syria is in chaos right now. Egypt is as well. Uh, you have many other countries in the Middle East that strongly support uh, the Israelis doing this. And I'll mention Saudi Arabia, but there are others. Uh, Hamas is uh, in great trouble, and Hezbollah is supporting the Syrians, Bashar Assad, up in Syria. So uh, Hezbollah, with those 50,000 missiles, is a really disjointed right now. And so it's an ideal political time for them to do it, and particularly with the political situation in the United States. And there is more and more talk uh, suggesting that that is exactly their plan, that they will do it. And the question on a lot of uh, minds of Americans now is, what will we do? Will we get actively involved? Will we sit back and watch? Will we quietly help? Uh, Bill Cowan, let me ask you, Colonel, what, what should the United States, how should we be viewing our potential role in an attack by Israel and Iran? Well, Megan, first and foremost, there's no question that whether we play any part or not, we're going to be blamed for it. So let's step up to the table here and make sure that our allies in Israel uh, don't suffer some disastrous defeat when they do this. There are things we can do that don't require us to engage the Iranians directly, but which support Israel in this mission. And the examples are refueling, helping get clearance for overflight, helping with the rescue and recovery of downed pilots whose aircraft go down outside of Iran, electronic warfare from offshore, intelligence we could provide, a whole range of things that we could do which don't show a very active, visible presence, but which make a difference to Israel and its chances for success. General McInerney, you too believe that Iran will t retaliate against the United States if Israel strikes Iran, even if we're not directly involved. Although you think that they may do it through proxies and not, not directly? Yes, Megan, because they do not want the United States to be involved. If they close the Straits of Hormuz, for instance, the United States has to automatically become involved to keep those shipping lanes open. They don't want that. So their attacks against U.S. forces in the UAE and other places in the region will come through proxies, and they'll try to have no fingerprints back to Iran. We should put out a warning right now, any of those, and do it covertly, any attacks against U.S. forces, we will assume it is Iran. I strongly endorse just what uh, Colonel Cowan said and the kind of support we should be giving them. I don't think we're doing that right now, though. But, Colonel... Would we be prepared, do you believe, under this administration, would we be prepared to up the ante against Iran? Let's say Israel attacks Iran. Iran starts retaliating, not just against Israel, but against U.S. targets abroad. Let's just start with that, abroad, either directly or through proxies. Do you think that there is the political will in this country and at the administration level to go after Iran in response to something that is not a clear and direct attack by Iran on America? Unfortunately, Megan, I don't believe this administration has the political will I think there are those in the Pentagon that don't have the political will to do what many of us might think needs to be done. I, in addition to whatever strikes we may see over uh, in the other region outside our own country, I think we should expect things to happen inside this country. There's no question but what Hezbollah operatives and Iranian operatives are inside this country now, sitting around in idle cells waiting to be called upon to do something. So we would certainly here in the United States react. Law enforcement would do the things that they had to do to stop attacks or catch those who might have done them. I just don't believe that this administration is willing to stand up 
and put, uh, you know, put out what we need to do in order to retaliate against things done against us. Look, I don't think General McInerney or me or anybody in the military wants to go to war. We're suffering from the wars we've been in right now. But by the same token, are we willing to stand up and be slapped around once more by the Iranians as we have so many times in the past? General McInerney, we all know that Ahmadinejad appears to be a lunatic. But is he so crazy that he would either let off a nuclear bomb on Israel if he gets the nuke, uh, or that he would go after the United States in any way that would essentially force or at least invite a, an American retaliation against Iran. Is he that nuts? Well, uh, he's not nuts. It's just the ideology that he believes in. And he firmly believes that uh, the Mahdi will come out of a well in the city of Qom, the Mahdi being the savior, when two-thirds of the world's population is killed through natural disaster, pestilence, and warfare. So if he gets a nuclear weapon, this is why it's so different than what r the Russians had nukes, he will use them on Israel. He says weekly that he's going to wipe Israel off the face of the earth. So we must assume that he believes what he is saying and that his ideology, it's not nuts, that's the ideology that this narrow Shia sect has of the Mahdi coming out of that well, and they believe that. So it's just like the Nazis, it's just like the communists. That's a very evil ideology. And for that reason, I strongly believe wow. that they will attack Israel. And by the way, uh, I believe that Prime Minister Netanyahu believes that as well. Gentlemen, thank you both so much for coming on with your insights, as always. Thanks, Megan. Thanks, Megan.